everybody, my name is Dave Dakey and I'm with RapidView. I'm the Midwest Sales Manager and today we're going to be on RapidView's feature focus talking about air pressurization. So has anybody ever dropped a piece of electronic like a drill in water and ruined it? It's either completely destroyed or doesn't work the same way again. That's why air pressurization is so important. We want to protect our investment, right? So what we do is, inside of all of our cameras and tractors, we pressurize them with free, dry air. So that way it protects the equipment, it makes them last longer, you have far less downtime, and you get more inspections done with less repairs. Every one of our components have air charge ports on them. So we have a port here, a port on the front end, and a port on the camera to be able to air pressurize it and make sure that no seals or no integrity is lost on any of the seals. So how we pressurize equipment is very simple. We have a very simple pump with the refrigerant dryer filter on it, a one bar pop off, and a gauge. The filter dryer basically only allows dry air to be put inside the equipment. So no moisture can get in, cause corrosion, and damage equipment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cap off, put the adapter on, hook the hose up, Hear it pop off, so we know we're at one bar. Unhook the hose and put the cap back on. So basically, when you lose air pressure, if it gets down below three tenths of a bar, it the controller beeps at you inside. It flashes on a screen, basically, hey, we're on low air pressure, and then it shuts the lights out so you can't see, warning you, hey, get this out of the water, get it fixed, get it serviced before you cause any damage to your equipment. Our equipment is designed this way for a reason, to give you longer lasting equipment, more inspections per day, and less cost of operation. Thanks again for joining us for Rapid View's Feature Focus. I appreciate the time. 